What's going on guys? Today I'd like to talk a little bit about wearable accessories that can easily change up your look from day to day. Stick with me. All right, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So we all pretty much have our own individual style, whether that's rugged or preppy, minimal, edgy, country or athletic, but sometimes things can get a little boring and we end up getting caught in a style rut. Now, in terms of women, it seems, on the surface anyway, that it's a lot easier for them to change things up because the market is saturated with bold accessories for women. And since most women have longer hair, they can easily put it up or style it differently to change up their look on a daily basis. For us men, we can't utilize a lot of those same options or opportunities, but we do have options, although a little bit more subtle. That's why I wanted to make this video to call attention to some of those options that we do have. Now, first up, while this isn't necessarily an accessory, it's more of a general statement or nugget of advice that I did want to pass along right up front, and that is to take a risk and try something new. Try something that freaks you out a little bit and maybe even try a color that you normally wouldn't wear. What you might find is that people start complimenting you on that new thing, and that means you just found a brand new favorite item that you wouldn't have otherwise found if you didn't take that first risk. Now, you also might find that the risk you took was a miss, but that's okay. You'll get hits and misses when you step outside your comfort zone, and that's totally okay. It's just clothing. Guys, I get hits and misses all the time, but that's how you figure out what works and what doesn't. It's all part of that growth. The difference anyway for me is that when I miss and I film a video wearing something, a lot of you guys rip me up about it in the comments, but that's fine because I'm not afraid to try new stuff and neither should you. Listen, sidebar, if you get something out of this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button because the entire premise around this YouTube channel is to help you realize that it's never too late and you're never too old to make a change in your life or start something new. All right, let's jump into the rest of my list of wearable accessories that you can experiment with. And the first up is glasses. Now, some of you guys know if you watched my EDC video, Everyday Carry, uh, that I posted on New Year's Eve that I wear contacts and glasses and I have been since about middle school. Now, I wore glasses for about the first few years and then transitioned over to contacts sometime maybe in early high school. Now, I currently have a few pair of reading glasses as well as a few pair of different regular glasses. So when Glasses USA reached out to help sponsor this part of this video, it really made perfect sense because guys, like it or not, as we get older, me included, our eyesight starts to diminish and we only really have a few options. It's surgery, contacts, or glasses. Glasses USA has got over 6,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including some pretty cool in-house brands, as well as designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, and Gucci. Guys, they cut out the middleman and offer prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices. They've got complete glasses, frames, and lenses that start at about $30. You can find every conceivable color and style, as well as specialty glasses like safety glasses and glasses for kids you can add your prescription to almost any pair of frames, including sunglasses. So this is the coolest part. You don't have to go anywhere and try on frames just to see what they might look like on your face. So let me show you this really quick. So what was so cool about this for me is that you can upload your own photo just like this, and then you grab these red crosses and you put them right over the middle of your eyeball so it knows what you know what angle your face is so when you go back all of the glasses every single pair uh is appearing on your face so i thought i was more of a round frame guy but most of what i picked were these square frames i was actually pretty pretty amazed because my readers are round but what i liked most was square so hit that link down below in the description to get 60% off your first pair of glasses. Also, if you're interested, I'm gonna try to put links to the four specific frames that I own. Next are watches. So wearing a watch, in my opinion, is one of the best accessories that you can incorporate. And if you have a few different watches, you can swap them out every other day or so to change up your look or to balance out an outfit. You can go with like a dive watch on uh, one day and then maybe a clean, a minimal white dial watch the next, and then maybe some type of chronograph the day after that. 
Now, I do realize that a lot of people do like to wear smart watches, but for me personally, I like wearing a more traditional watch. The next accessory, since we're talking about watches, are watch straps. Guys, there are literally thousands of watch straps out there to choose from, and I've even made a few different videos about this exact topic, but guys, you can go with a quick release leather or rubber strap or any type of NATO strap in any color or color combination that you can think of. They're super easy to swap out, and a lot of the new straps even come with new spring pins and the spring pin tool. Now, if you're a smartwatch guy, there's lots to choose from out there for you as well. Next up, we have hats. Now, truth be told, I'm not much of a hat guy myself, but I've heard from a lot of you guys that are, and I do believe hats are a great way to accessorize. They show individuality and also personality. They're a great conversation starter, and I see so many guys that look incredible wearing hats. They can also help keep your head warm in the wintertime and help keep the sun off of you in the summer. Belts are another great way to accessorize. Now, instead of just going with that same old black or brown leather belt that you've always worn, there's no reason you can't incorporate, say, like a gray canvas belt or even a blue belt or even a red and blue belt. Now, unless you're going business casual at the office or maybe something formal, you don't necessarily have to be all matchy-matchy with your belt and your shoes. So I wear a lot of sneakers and most of my sneakers are either black, white, or blue. So wearing a gray belt with jeans and say black sneakers is totally acceptable. Also wearing a red and blue belt with blue sneakers or even white sneakers looks awesome. Bracelets are another item to accessorize with in a way that maybe a lot of other guys might be afraid to try. Now, I would suggest keeping bracelets to a minimum and not stacking like five of them up all together. Now, I do see that from time to time, but I think it looks a lot better in Instagram photos than it does in person. Guys, a simple beaded bracelet or even a metal cuff can look pretty classy and interesting in my opinion. Since we just mentioned wearing a cuff, try wearing cuff links more often. Cufflinks have become a lot more acceptable for daily wear, even outside of formal attire. Now, I recently made a video where I talked about cufflinks, and I've been making it a practice of trying to incorporate and wear cufflinks a lot more myself. So, I recently went to a few Christmas parties this year, and I wore cufflinks. And as far as I could tell, I was the only guy wearing them, and it was actually kind of interesting and fun to watch people that you're talking to notice them and then comment on them. Wearing rings is another subtle way to accessorize. Now, I kind of feel like you're either a ring guy or you're not, but even though I'm not necessarily a ring guy, that doesn't mean that I can't still recommend it to those of you who might want to give it a shot. Now, besides your wedding ring, there's no reason why you can't incorporate something on your other hand that maybe has some meaning. So, for example, guys, my grandfather wore a ring, and when he died, my father got it, and then when he passed away, I got it. It's a really meaningful ring, as you can imagine, and I have worn it on a few occasions, but actually I haven't in quite a while. But if I ever want to accessorize with an additional ring on my right hand, it's there if I need it. Going with a pocket square can instantly set you apart from the crowd in a great way. Now, even if you know nothing about style, when you're wearing a sports jacket with a pocket square, you instantly look more stylish. And if you're not afraid of color, you can add a little pop of color with a pocket square. Now, it doesn't have to be crazy or anything like that, but just a little hint of colored fabric on your breast pocket can go a really long way. Now, fold it yourself though. Don't buy those pre-folded perfect ones that are stuck on cardboard. The beauty of a pocket square is that they're not supposed to look perfect. Once again, big thanks to Glasses USA for supporting the channel and offering this audience a great deal. So be sure you hit that link down below in the description and go check them out. Also guys, if you're subscribed, and I hope you are, I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, live well, and I'll see you soon.